Hello and welcome to an Envato Test Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Pordila and in today's video you'll learn the pros and cons of using Divi versus Elementor. Uh, these are uh, two of the most popular page builders for WordPress and if you're just getting started with this type of tool then you're probably wondering which one is best for you. Well uh, in this video we'll look at the differences uh, between the two and hopefully by the end of it, you'll be able to decide which one is best suited for you. We'll be using uh, four categories for the comparison. Interface and user experience, modules, pre-made templates, and price. At the very end, I'll also give you my personal recommendation. So if you're ready, let's go. Now, both of these page builders are visual drag and drop so they're really easy to use and i have two separate installation of wordpress here one is using elementor one is using divi and i'm just going to switch back and forth between the two and show you the uh, differences so let's start with elementor uh, i have the free version of elementor installed here and let me open up a page and as you can see this has a button here that says edit with elementor now let's say you wanna add an element to this page, right? How would you do that? Well, it's a simple matter of finding the element that you wanna add in this left sidebar and dragging it onto your page. So for example, if I wanna add a heading here, all I gotta do is click, drag, and position the heading wherever I want. And then with that heading uh, selected, I can, uh, you know, type directly in here, or I can use the left sidebar again to change the properties of that element. Change the text itself. If I wanna set a link to it, I can do it here and other various properties. It's really that simple. Also, you'll see that when I hover on a specific element, I have this uh, option here for editing that element, which is pretty good. Now on Divi, let me uh, go ahead and open the same page. I'm just gonna click start building. On Divi, it's a little bit different. To add a new element, you just hit the plus sign where it says add new module. And that's gonna open up a pop-up window that shows you all the available modules. Uh, if you have certain ones added to your own library, you can change them from, you can choose them from here, but otherwise you would choose them from this list. So now let's uh, add, for example, a, a button. So you just click and then that opens another pop-up that allows you to change the properties for that element. So for example, the button text, you can add a link to it, and then you can go over to design and change alignment options, uh, text color, margin padding, shadows. So you, you do it all from here. And once you're done, you just hit save changes. And there it is. That's your button right there. Of course, if you want to make changes to this, all you got to do is hover on it and then click this little gear icon that says module settings and it's just gonna open that up again. Now, this is a floating window but you can also dock it. So you can click this little button that says snap to left and now you're gonna get a similar layout to what you would find in Elementor. Pretty cool. Now in terms of the overall user experience, Divi's builder uh, seems a little bit more fluid, a little bit easier to use. You know, you can hover on any element, you get all of these options here, and you can drag it around. You can click this, these little buttons and you have all of these additional options. And I like how they color code these elements. So for example, this one is a section, the one with the blue. And so the controls and also this border is colored blue. 
if I hover on uh, this area right here, this is actually a row, the one with the green. And if you hover on uh, any other element or module, this is colored with this uh, kind of dark gray. And I like this kind of uh, separation of colors. It makes it much easier to uh, know exactly what you're editing. Uh, on Elementor, on the other hand, uh, everything is colored kind of the same. Uh, you don't really get the same idea of what a specific element is or like is it a section, is it a, a row, is it a module. You don't really know that just by, uh, by looking at your page. You would need to go in and uh, determine, click it and see what kind of, um, of element it is. Now, something else that I really like about Divi is how you can um, change the margins and paddings of elements. So, notice that when you hover between or near certain elements, you get this uh, kind of colored highlight here. See here? And the cursor changes? Well, this is for the padding. And you can click and drag and it's going to tell you the exact value right here. How cool is that? 74 pixels. And if you open up the uh, section settings, uh, you can also see that value and change it from within here, which is great. But it's also really good that you can do that simply by hovering with your mouse and just changing the value on the fly like that. So here's how you do it on a module. This is the margin, by the way. Really, really easy. Uh, also, when you hover your mouse over the perimeter line or the perimeter border of a section or a module, you can change the height, right? So or the minimum height. So far it was set to auto, but you can change it to your uh, heart's desire, which is pretty cool. In Elementor, uh, to change a padding to an element, you would have to select that element and then go to Advanced. And you need to change the padding from here. You decide whether you, you want to link the values together or not, or uh, you know edit them separately. So there is no um, quick interaction with the elements in this live preview to change the, the margin and padding. So uh, this approach that we have here on uh, Divi is much better in, uh, in my opinion. Uh, somehow the Elementor theme builder uh, just seems a little bit dated, while Divi's, in my opinion, has a much better uh, user experience. So if we were to make like a contest between the two, I think from this point of view, uh, Divi is the winner. So when it comes to interface and user experience, I would pick Divi over Elementor. Now, what about modules or elements, whatever you want to call them? Well, here's the thing. Elementor has slightly more modules than Divi, even in the free version. Because as you'll see in just a little bit, Elementor has two versions, a free and a paid one. And the paid one, which is called Elementor Pro, has some, um, some additional elements for you to use. But even in the free version, Elementor has slightly more modules than uh, Divi. Uh, also, you can install a plugin and uh, let me actually show you that really quick. You can install a plugin called Add-ons for Elementor, which is this. And this is gonna give you like 70 plus more uh, premium elements for uh, Elementor. Uh, with that said, there are also plugins for Divi, although not so many. For example, Supreme Module Slide for uh, Divi. And that's gonna give you extra functionality for the Divi theme, and also a lot more uh, modules. Now, another difference between Divi and Elementor is that with, uh, with Divi, 
all the modules are included in the package, so you don't have to buy something extra. With Elementor, as I was saying previously, uh, Elementor includes most of the plugins in the free version, but to get the rest of them, like you can see here, the ones that are currently locked, these are for the pro version or the paid version, right? So you don't get everything at once. So if we are to compare DV versus Elementor from a module's point of view, I would say that Elementor takes this round because it has a free version and you also get a bunch of, uh, of free elements or modules with that. So you can get started right away without, without having to buy anything extra. Now, what about the pre-made templates? Because these are actually a huge time saver when designing a website. Well, Elementor has about 40 free templates and actually doubles that amount in the pro version. And to get access to the um, Elementor uh, pre-made templates, you can, for example, uh, edit or create a new page. And you can go right here where it says add uh, template, right here. And these are currently the ones that you can download and use. Uh, there will be some, as you can see here, they have a red badge on the top right corner where it says Pro. Those are the Pro ones. Uh, you get those after purchasing uh, Elementor Pro. So as you can see, there are quite a few of them. Divi, on the other hand, has about 140 at the time of this recording with more added every month. Now, here's the, here's the cool part about Divi. Divi doesn't just offer you a page layout. They offer layout packs. So let me show you what that means. Uh, you can go to any page or create a new one. And here you can choose a pre-made layout. So browse layouts. And actually uh, there are 170 uh, layout packs, not 140, uh, my mistake. So here's the nice part. A layout pack basically means you get several page designs for like the home page, about, contact, etc. So let's open this restaurant landing page and you can see we have eight layouts in the pack for about, blog, contact, gallery and so on. So this is pretty cool. You can view a live demo, you can use this particular layout if, uh, if you want. So this is, I think, a huge bonus. Um, in Elementor, you don't really have these layout packs from the beginning. You just have simple layouts, right? You see a home page here, a landing page here, and so on. Elementor does have something called template kits, which are available in the pro version, which, you know, do relatively uh, the same thing. Uh, also, a huge or actually a big plus for Elementor is Elementor blocks. Now, these are very simple, very small blocks of elements. So, for example, a section for a frequently asked questions or a hero area or a contact form. So just small elements that you can grab independently from any theme or layout pack. So pretty helpful. They're not much in terms of design, but you can definitely customize these later. Uh, Divi, on the other hand, does not have this functionality. Uh, Divi only offers full layouts. Uh, also, something cool that uh, Divi has an element or doesn't is A-B testing. So you can select two layouts and decide you want to do A-B testing with them, which means part of your visitors will receive layout A, the other part will receive layout B. And then you can use uh, the uh, data, the metrics, to compare which one performs the best. Uh, Elementor doesn't have that natively, but you can add it via plugin. So when it comes to pre-made templates, uh, I truly believe Divi has the better offering simply because of those layout packs. Because you get 
different page designs in a layout pack and those page designs are compatible with one another right so you can very easily create a whole website using a layout pack so for this round i think divi takes it all right so now on to pricing and this is where uh, the choice between these two might become very clear uh, for, uh, for a lot of people. Starting with Elementor, as I mentioned previously, it has a free plan or a free version and then a pro version. And the pro version is represented by these three sub-tiers. You get a personal plus an expert valued at $49.99 and $1.99 per year. So the main difference between these is how many sites can you use with that license? For personal, it's one site, three sites for the plus version and a thousand sites for the expert. Now, if you're you know, serious about doing this and you're doing it for clients and such, then you would probably get the expert version because a thousand sites is more than enough. The other two, I don't think they're really that attractive to be honest personally if i were to use elementor for the foreseeable future i would get the 200 dollars a year subscription for a thousand websites now divi on the other hand doesn't have a free version so you need to buy it you can buy it for 89 dollars a year and you basically get the full features or you can buy it lifetime for $249. And also you get access to all of the features. The cool thing is with this version, it's a one-time fee. So there is no recurring payment that you have to make. So it's very similar to, uh, to the expert tier from, uh, from Elementor Pro. It is a, a little bit more expensive, but that's a, a lifetime. It's a one-time payment compared to this value, which is per year. So I think Divi also wins in this category because 250, a one-time payment and you get access to all the features is a very good deal. And even this one, $89 a year and you get access to the full version and you can use this on unlimited websites. I think this is also much better than what Elementor has to offer. Uh, the only plus that I could find on Elementor is that it has a free version. So you can get started with it without spending a single dime. With Divi, you have to buy it. With all that said, I still believe that in terms of pricing, Divi is the better option. All right, so with all of that said and done, which one should you get? Well, here's my personal recommendation. If you're just getting started, then go for Elementor because it has a free version and you can get started right away without spending a single dime. Uh, however, if you're really serious about this and you're going to use this product, a WordPress page builder for a long time moving forward, then I recommend Divi because overall I think it's a better product and you get uh, a much better value than uh, than with Elementor. So with that said, I hope uh, you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching. I'm Adi Purdila, and until next time, take care.